In example one, given the drawing below, and in all of the, these examples, do note that G is the circumcenter of triangle ABC. So given the drawing below and the given lengths, we want to find BG, CG, AD, and AC. If you need to, take a moment, pause the video, solve this on your own. When you're ready, resume the video, and I'll walk you through the solutions. Okay, first things first, as soon as you hear that you have a circumcenter, you know that that circumcenter is equidistant from the vertices, meaning that AG is 9, BG is 9, and CG is also 9. Okay. Also, if we are dealing with the circumcenter, we know that we have midpoints. So if DB is 6, then DA is also 6. Okay, this last bit's a little bit harder. Again, because we have a circumcenter, we know we have also perpendiculars, which makes this triangle here a right triangle. If I were to redraw this out to the side, I'd have a length of 9, a length of 3, and an unknown length. I can use the Pythagorean theorem, which tells me that my unknown length squared plus the other leg of the triangle squared equals the hypotenuse squared. The most important thing is to identify your hypotenuse. That's always the side opposite your right angle. I can go through and solve the problem, getting AF squared equals 9, or I'm sorry, not equals, but plus 9 equals 81, which tells me that AF squared equals 72. So AF equals the square root of 72, which is approximately 8.5. But I wanted AC, so if this is 8.49 and this is 8.49, then AC is approximately 16.97, or 98 because we rounded. And that's the answers to example one. In example two, Again, G is the circumcenter, meaning that its distance to all three vertices is the same. So AG is also 11, BG is also 11, and we were given that CG is 11. Okay, again, because G is the circumcenter, that means the points we're working with are midpoints on the sides. So AF is congruent to CF meaning AF is also 9. And then our last side we're looking for, ah, there it is, is AB. Well, if AD is 7, DB is also 7, making AB 14. Okay, so three things to look for if you have a circumcenter. We have midpoints on sides, we are equal distance or equidistant. From the vertices. And we can have right triangles, which lead us to using the Pythagorean theorem of a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c is your hypotenuse. That's it for perpendicular bisectors. If you feel ready, you're more than welcome to go on to the next section, which talks about angle bisectors. If not, go back, review these videos.